guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi my name is stephanie and i do videos on diy decor home uh, lifestyle and many more so today we have been graced by this beautiful lady here and uh, that means that we are, this video will be a little bit different because it will be a makeup type of video and um, i'll give her an opportunity to tell us more about her makeup Hello everyone, my name is Julie Sav on Instagram, Julie McKenna on Facebook. I'm a makeup artist, but I'm also an English teacher and a vocalist. But oh, you can sing. Oh yeah. A book give us a little bit of your goodness. My goodness. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, Amo will just put it we'll in just, another video. We'll if you want to see her uh, sing, make sure that you've uh, you've commented down below and. Uh, how many wait wait how many likes should they hit so that they can hear you sing how about one thousand likes <laughs> around a thousand yeah there are few hit your hit your girl up with a thousand likes and um you'll hear her sing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so in the meantime uh stephanie called me we haven't seen each other in such a long time we went to the same high school but then I turned out to be a makeup artist, so I really wanted to do something on her face. As you can see, she's there. <laughs> yeah, and how she looks gorgeous. Ebu, you guys tell me. Mm. Oh my god, <laughs> look at those lashes. Ebu just. Ebu. Oh my god, <laughs> really, really pretty. Thank you. So she's going to sprinkle me with some of her juice, and we'll see how things go. Before oh. I start doing. You're doing this makeup, I would want people to know that we are all beautiful, regardless, regardless of what kind of skin you have. True. Or there are people who even have worse acne. Scenarios. Yeah, acne, acne, acne is not even anything bad. There are people who have worse scenarios. Please, please be confident in your own skin. True. Be happy that you like that. True. And please don't criticize makeup. Makeup has always been good for people who don't feel good about them themselves. It's an art. It's an art in itself. Yeah. So don't ever criticize makeup. There are people who suffer from burns, and the only way that they can feel more con yeah confident or comfortable in themselves yeah. is through makeup. I'm gonna wipe your face first. Oh wait, you're wiping to remove any any dirt, dirt or what? Yeah, any dirt. Mm. The first thing I use is a primer. A primer is a very important mm -hmm. product to mm -hmm. use on the skin. Mm -hmm. That is why you wonder why there are women who have makeup from morning to evening and still popping. Wow, like it sort of mattifies the whole thing, yeah? It's, it holds the makeup together, mm -hmm. but at the same time it is protecting your skin from all these other things oh. so i'm going to start with this i always prefer working with a primer with my fingers mm -hmm. because it goes well into the pores mm -hmm. there are people who use brushes oh. but i don't recommend that okay. i don't recommend that mm -hmm. i only use brushes when i know i'm going to work on a very uh, on very many people mm -hmm. so i'm going to use brushes because there are people who feel like mm, you know hand mm -mm. yeah you see when you're working your clients always come first so you do what true. you want yeah. true 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 and how much do you charge i charge 20 dollars yeah yes but that is for people who want to if you have a date and i'm not going to stay there for long i'm just coming giving you a facebook face beaten that's it yeah. I will charge you $20 oh. but in situations where you want me to say maybe it's an event and you want me to keep hurting your face making sure you're okay mm -hmm. mm, I work from age to five mm. before my working hours oh. and do you have a specific charge per hour am I just to charge the whole day I charge either the whole day or maybe half day mm -hmm. but as long as I'm not I'm going to exit more than six hours in your place mm -hmm. that must be eighty dollars you have to spend eighty dollars 
so what's next that's how the primer looks on your skin yeah for those who didn't know <laughs> that's how the primer looks like mm -hmm. the next thing i do i work on the brows mm -hmm. because the eye area once once you put on foundation and you start working on the eye area mm -hmm. it gets messed up because now that you'll have colors falling onto your cheeks and we don't want that yeah we want to deal with this part first then we go yeah with the rest of the face okay. chasing speed and gunning i'll be right there all so first you have to comb mm -hmm. using this brush mm -hmm. you comb the lashes first mm -hmm. not the lashes the brows i'm sorry do you also have this pro this this i confuse cut your brow and lashes stupidly and i don't know why I have that problem. Do you also do that? Once in a while. I do. <laughs> Don't mind our positioning. That's what we are working with. So it has to look bomb. Then you face up a little bit. <laughs> so do you have a tough customer that you have gone to, or what? Are, what are some of the uh, disadvantages of this work? What what can you complain about this business? Um, of course, people's preferences are just weird mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. You might meet people who want something that they have seen on social media, mm -hmm. but they don't understand that maybe their skin tone does not allow cannot allow that whole look to pop out the way they saw it. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, you go maybe you watch a video where Amzungu has done something <laughs> and you think because <laughs> because um, she put yellow, it's gonna come out yellow as yellow as, yellow as that. Yeah. More black. <laughs> Be bl proudly black. Proudly yeah. black. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, you might find people who, are, who might say maybe pigmentation. Mm -hmm. The pigmentation of the products I use might be the problem because I've had customers who complained and when I said that yellow cannot pop out the way you want, mm -hmm. they went like your products are the ones that are have a, an issue. Yeah, and do they tell issue. you blunt and clear like this your product I have issue. met one one lady mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. who really made me feel bad about what I did. Mm -hmm. But yeah actually I use her photos to market myself and I get clients. Because of how popping that makeup was. Yes. So, I don't know what people want. You wouldn't know what a client wants until you pick it up. You know? So, that's her brow. Though it needs to be. Those hairs need to be chopped a little bit. So that we come out with a clear. A clear? A clear brow. Yeah. A clear brow. <laughs> Oh, I'm already loving this. I do my makeup so different. But they, my, I can say that my makeup, how I do my makeup is like, uh, we too. You know, makeup, makeup, uh, makeup uh, routine, we too. Yes. They just wake up and just put on random things. lip gloss and then you meet your friends like, okay. It's just lip gloss. While we are making doing this beautiful brow how do you know how to balance this and this because that is one problem i have you might find one is down here the other one is over here now brows we excuse brows they shouldn't be twins but they should at least be sisters you know yeah they should at least look alike yeah how do but you do it every person has their nat natural shape of yeah. the eyebrow yeah so I go with that, but sometimes, sometimes we, you can find a person who has never ever shaped their eyebrows. Mm. They have never ever. Mm. So what you have to do, you have to create a shape for yeah, them. Create a shape for them mm -hmm. that they look nice. And they have to also like it, yeah. Yes, I've also done makeup on movie sets. Oh yeah. Which movie? <laughs> 
Oh, the Phoenix. I went to the Phoenix. There was a friend of mine. Uh -huh. She's a director, K24. Yeah. Um, Pasha. Hi, Pasha. Mm -hmm. She you better be watching this video. Yeah. Pasha called me. I went for a, I went for an audition. Mm -hmm. I went there and found Pasha. Mm -hmm. I wanted to act, but then I just told him, you know what? I'm a makeup artist. Mm -hmm. Even though I, I didn't get the role, mm -hmm. but then Pasha said, "You can do something for us at least." Wow. And that is how wow. I did makeup on a movie shoot. And how was thank it, you, Pasha? Yeah. How was it? How's the experience? Hey, the experience was good. Mm -hmm. I loved it. Mm -hmm. Was, how many people did you have to do? So many. You see, with movie shoots, mm -hmm. they don't want, they don't require makeup like this most mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. They want to look camera friendly, natural. Um, natural. Mm -hmm. You have to create maybe bands for them, mm -hmm. wounds, all that. Can you do that? Can you oh, create yeah. a band oh, yeah. and a wound? Oh yeah. You're told. You, you're told maybe this. A pregnant woman, the water must break. That is also makeup. Mm. At least the brows look alike. Mm -hmm. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do the gold eyeshadow. But then I want you to stay tuned so that you know how to match your eyeshadow with your lipstick. I will focus gold, color gold on your eyelids. Mm -hmm. But then I want them to focus so that they know how to match up the eyeshadow with the lipstick. Mm -hmm. I believe when you go for a, when you want a sub, subtle look, it shouldn't be shouting, but there are people who like looking wild, mm -hmm. which still are. Today the eyeshadows I'm going to use are Huda. Huda? Huda. <laughs> yeah, that one is okay. Huda. Huda. Mm -hmm. And Morph, the Morph eyeshadow palette. Morphe. Yeah, Morphe. The Morphe eyeshadow palette. Oh, I have a good feeling about this. Yeah. So now we are going to go in with a dark color, a transition color. And how did you start? How did you get? How did you know that you have the interest of makeup? When I started. My mother has always been a fan of makeup. Oh, really? Oh my god, oh my mm. mom. Mm. She loves makeup so much. Oh, so, and her, um, when you go to her dressing table, mm -hmm. actually you'll get shocked. Mm. The kind of products she has and everything. Mm -hmm. But all her life, she has never mm. changed her lipstick color. color. Really? All her what life. What color is yes. it? And the brand, Irene, the, the green Irene lipstick, <laughs> she has never changed it, yeah. not for anything, you can't tell her to change that, yeah. no, 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 you can't convince her. She has, she believes, mm. she has done it since high school, and uh, it has always worked for her, so why should she try any other thing? So, yeah. It's all about your happiness. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh. So that's so your my mom. inspiration came from my mom of course. She does a lot of makeup but nowadays she doesn't do a lot of makeup but mm. yes she does makeup and uh, she has a, a routine. Mm. In the morning she puts on her mask, mm -hmm. um cleans it out, cleanses her face, mm. all those we exfoliate our face together when I go home. We put on masks and then we have a little kid and we don't actually we chase her out mm -hmm. so that she doesn't make jokes and we have to smell in the mask. Because <laughs> <laughs> of the crack. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. My mom would never allow me near her makeup. Oh, 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 she was a drama queen. She would never allow me. If anything, she'd lock up her room just so that I don't touch her makeup. Because I'd take something and not return. That's the bad thing about it. <laughs> so that is it. Uh, before I go in with any other thing, I have to conceal her, bro her eyelids again. Because I'm going in with another color and I don't want it to mix it with whatever I have there. Conceal it first so that you cut a crease, mm -hmm. then you place other colors on top. Mm -hmm. 
and how do you know the, the colors do? you know that you have to match like you have the people who do their eyeshadow and you see there's a red background type of color like how do you know how to match the colors so that it can come out popping um their preference is first mm. of course a purple and a yellow would come out very well really yes purple and yellow yes it does come out very well like the, yep. uh -huh. yes mm. but then when you do that because it looks it would look very dramatic mm. i know because I'm trying to wonder, like, will you put half purple, half yellow? Have you seen those people, especially? No, no offense, but those two house girls who put half, half pink, half blue. Have you seen them? <laughs> yes. They don't know how to blend them well. The power. It's it's, it's yes, always it's, in the power of blending. Yeah? Yes, always. Mm -hmm. Once you blend your your makeup, mm -hmm. it always pops out. Oh. What are your future plans? my future plan yeah since i really love eye makeup i i would want to to come up with my own lash line really yeah oh wow i also love eye contact so much i have people who call me hit me up and tell me they want eye contact how much do you sell them yes i sell eye contact how much do you sell them for a set at two thousand shillings and uh, they need to be changed after how long? I recommend people to change their eye contacts at least after every 10 months. And you, can, eye. and you can use as many colors as you want. You can do them and use as many colors as you want. The contacts? Yeah. As long as you don't look weird. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, I've seen you in contact. Yeah. I'll put a vid I'll put a photo like somewhere here of her in contact. <coughs> she looks so pretty. You'll want them. <laughs> By chance whatever it is that we were talking about was just too juicy for us to notice that we had gotten to a point to the point of foundation and the foundation that she was using then was the mac foundation in the shade uh i'm not so sure about it but i will put it in the description but yeah she was just a plan foundation on my face my favorite makeup is the eye pencil mm -hmm. Actually, I didn't have a favorite makeup product. Mm -hmm. I have never had it until I went somewhere for a sleepover. And mm -hmm. I noticed I didn't carry my makeup bag, but mm -hmm. then somehow my blue eye pencil mm -hmm. slipped in my handbag. I don't know how mm -hmm. it got itself there. Mm -hmm. So I tried using it as my brow pencil mm -hmm. and my lipstick, and it popped. Mm -hmm. Wow, I looked really nice. Mm -hmm. So that became my favorite eye pencil, mm -hmm. my favorite product I made. Mm. So what are you doing now? Right now I'm contouring. I'm trying to contour your face mm -hmm. with the illegal concealer. Mm -hmm. Yes. This one is one of the best concealers. I, I see most of the, of the makeup artists in the internet mm -hmm. using yeah. it. Yeah. And I think the reason as why they like it because it covers most spots mm -hmm. and again it comes in a very many shades. Yeah. I already feel pretty you guys. <laughs> And what's the importance of baking? Mm. When you bake your face, it's easy to contour. Oh. It's easy to contour because people can actually see the shape of your face. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And did you really study this? Uh, I learned this on my own. Oh, wow. I woke up one day and I said, Ooh la la. YouTube is the biggest school we have. I know.
So you guys, she, she used to be my my classmate, and um, because I was in Kreki, I had to repeat. So that's when we are chanad. But other than that, we used to be really, really. We used to sleep in dorm three. Dorm three, and then I went to dorm eight. You went to dorm eight. Yeah, because we were in Mozambique uh -huh. girls, you guys. If you don't know Mozambique girls, it's in the inest inest part of part of uh, what do you call it? Uh, past Chuka. There, yeah. Just the school in Meru. Yeah. And uh, what's the what's the memory that you can? What what which part of high school can you remember? I remember when Uhuru came to our school. Oh. We cleaned, hey, we cleaned oh. the whole. Oh. Oh. And you know how long he came for? Oh, he came for how long? Seconds, like. Even thirty minutes. <laughs> hey, and we knew that he'd buy us a bus. You remember? Yeah. We'd always talk about a bus. Bus. A new bus. Huh? A new bus. Okay. The worst punishment I did was cutting grass. Imagine. <laughs> imagine. Oh wait, she said cutting grass, and she says imagine. Wait until imagine. you hear mine. I washed a cow shed and pig's tie for a month. For a month. When did you kill? Had you no, kill? <laughs> for something you very, very stupid. My best friend then was called Immaculate, and you remember Immaculate Mkatha? Oh yeah, I do. She was in. I think then it was from two, to to blue or was it to green? Yeah, one of the two blue. I think to blue or to green. And she had been given a punishment by the principal. I don't know. Oh, because of boys. So boys, boys. <laughs> so I went and helped her out, my friend. Here are some of what's that? Setting spray. We need to set her face first before mm -hmm. we we do the highlighter and the blush. Yeah. Oops. Oh, that feels good. Which setting spray is this? This is a MAC setting spray. So now I'm going to highlight your face. No, so I already highlight your face. So the struggles of filming using a phone. The when I got to this point, I my phone my phone memory filled up and I had to change the phone that I was using. And unfortunately, the phone that I was using, okay, when I was filming, the quality was nice. It was nice. Wait until I had to edit like that quality. I cannot even put it here. Like it's a really, really, really bad. But the only thing that we did was uh, do lipstick and uh, highlight. And uh, I'm really, really, really sorry that I was not able to put this part, but you get the concept, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, so our post, our today's post notification shout out goes to Bridget. Thank you, girl, for being there, for commenting, Dan, and for all that good jazz. You know, I love you. And if you want a post notification shout out, you better uh, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to her channel, mm. <laughs> and comment Dan once you're through and you'll get the next post notification shout out so other than that i'm hoping that you guys enjoyed this video and i will be seeing you in the next one ciao